If you're someone who's been considering creating a high ticket offer for your coaching or consulting business, but you're not moving forward because of the doubts and concerns that have come up, then you're absolutely in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top four doubts and concerns that I've noticed come up for my clients as I coach them through this process, and I'm gonna explain why they don't need to stop you. So first of all, why am I qualified to be talking to you about high ticket offers in the first place? Well, if we haven't met before, I'm Bernadette Doyle, and for 25 years, I've been helping coaches and consultants to get clients and make more money. And my favorite strategy when I get my hands on a new client is to get them to add a high ticket offer to their business because it brings such transformation to the business and it's the easiest and fastest way to really ramp up revenues and create a really simple business model where you not only get paid more while working less, but you're actually adding more value to your clients too. So it's just a win, win, win. However, despite all of the advantages, I know that as people think about it, they get a lot of questions come up about whether they can really do this. So in this video, I'm gonna run down what those are because I experienced exactly the same myself. So number one challenge that comes up for people is will I deliver? And this seems to come from a fear of, well, if I'm charging more, the clients are gonna expect more, and what if they pay more and they don't get the desired results, then they're gonna blame me, they're gonna be upset with me, um, I may even have to give them their money back. Now, what you need to understand is what this fear is coming from is really a deeper fear of not being good enough. And I've actually done a whole other video on that old chestnut, but I'm gonna speak specifically on um, high ticket offers right now. When it comes to creating a high ticket offer, you are helping someone to step into a transformation. That's basically what a high ticket offer is doing, is promising a, a, a desired transformation, a hugely valuable transformation that either solves a problem or helps them achieve a goal. And so when it comes to delivering, you are not meant to be the mule here. It's not you taking on the burden of doing all the, the work for them. You're the magician. So you're actually creating a container and you're creating um, a, a space where they can have that transformation. You're gonna guide them through that transformation. One of the questions that really helps me, and this is one that I give to my clients when I'm creating a program is, what do I need to um, have happen for my client's success to become inevitable? And then that guides me, not just to what I need to do, to what I personally need to deliver, but what structures need to be in place in terms of accountability, community, additional support, in order to make sure that that client's success becomes inevitable. Now, the next thing that seems to stop people is, again, this fear of, well, if people are paying me more, they're gonna expect more. And I'm already struggling with the client load I already have, and so I'm worried that people are gonna um, be calling me day or night, that they're just gonna be expecting me to jump to attention. Well, that doesn't need to happen. What we're talking about here is client boundaries. And if you have created a container, a space that makes your client's success inevitable, and you're committed to that success, so even when you take on your first clients through the program, you know you're just gonna be there for them to support them no matter what, then it doesn't have to translate in a whole lot of extra hours for you. This is the difference between heart work and hard work. What your client really needs from is, is your commitment and your belief in their ability to get results. And so that's actually gonna do way more for the clients than you taking on the work for them. You're really not serving them by doing it for them. Now, the third thing that comes up for people is this question, well, where will I find the premium buyers? As though premium buyers are like this special um, group of people that live on a certain island or they you know, congregate under a certain tree. That's not how it works, my friend. You are already connected to premium buyers in your network. There's a very good chance that you're already connected to someone who would happily pay you um, your high ticket fee for your high ticket offering. It's just that you haven't asked them yet. And so how you find them is you don't find them, you create them. And what I mean by that is you create them through your positioning. So in another video that I'll link below, I talked about the difference between being in the bargain basement or the penthouse. So you want penthouse positioning. You want premium positioning um, to attract these clients. The next way to create these premium clients is by deeply understanding their current pain points. You wanna be able to explain 
their challenges and their hopes and aspirations better than they can describe them themselves. That's when you create a real connection and a sense that you are the person that can really help them achieve this transformation in their life. So now let's come to the final concern that stops coaches and consultants from adding a high tick offering. And it's this, what if they say no? There seems to be an assumption that if you charge more, you're more likely to get no's and that a lower price actually equals more lesses. Now, in my research, I found this isn't true. In fact, only 10% of buying decisions are made solely on the decision of price. People say yes to things that they value. They say things to th that they want. So one of the ways that you can ensure that you get more yeses is you have to get really great at demonstrating the value for, of what you offer. That comes from really building your belief about your ability to make a difference and collecting the proof and evidence of that. And it also comes into the skill of how you then present that and translate that so that your prospective clients get it. The bottom line is, no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be a percentage of people who say no. And so if that's true, then why not make sure that you're playing at a higher level and you're offering a higher level program? Okay, hope this has helped you with some of the things that might be stopping you. If I missed anything, do leave a comment below. Leave me your question. Tell me what's stopping you from creating a high ticket offer. I want to help you because I know how transformational this can be, not just for you, although I know it can be a game changer for your business. It helped me triple my business the first year I added it. But I'm also here for your clients, the people who get served better when you step up and say yes to a bigger game, the people whose ambitions are raised because you had the courage to think back bigger. That's why I'm here. That's who I want to help. I want to help you help those people so that everybody wins.